Yeah, what it is, guys. It's your boy, Roy Jay-Z. So before we start the video, I'd like to say thank you to everybody who bought a sticker from me. Um, everything is shipped out to you already, so hopefully you get it between like two to three days. So yeah, thank y'all for everybody who bought a sticker. But yeah, man, for today's video, we're going to be upgrading our carburetor. You feel me? We got that PWK28. I want to give a big shout out to my boy, Votes Mini Bike. If y'all need any type of parts, make sure y'all shop with my boy, Votes. He ship. He got the best jetted carburetors in L.A. And if you need somebody from out of state, need a carburetor, hey, hit my boy up, Votes Mini Bike. I'm going to put his um Instagram. He got a number, too. You can call the number, tell him what you need. You feel me? If you need a motor built, let him know. You feel me? But, yeah, man, let's get into today's video. All right, let's see what this thing is looking like. You feel me? Oh, he scammed me. I'm just playing. I already got it on my bike. You feel me? But, yeah, man. Um, the PWK come with carburetor jets and stuff like that, and needle valves and all that. This was my old carburetor. This is a a, a McCooney VM22 McCooney. I had a problem where this kept they kept cracking, so this is my second one that I cracked in the same spot. So, as y'all see this little inlet, this little baby little inlet, this is a 22 millimeter. But let me show y'all that big 28. You feel me? Y'all see it? Damn, y'all see the difference? Way more air is gonna get up in this motor. Better throttle response, because this is a, a flat slice, so throttle response is way better on this. So yeah, man, make sure y'all upgrade y'all car. All right, so since I was looking for people who had adapter for the, the VM, no, the um, PWK carburetor, nobody had an adapter for it. So I just, you know, deal with people who, who, who didn't have the resources to get what they need. So you see, this is a regular carburetor for like a McQueenie carburetor. You see this piece right here? I had cut this off. I'm gonna show y'all the better. So what I did was I grabbed my grinder and I cut this flange off and it's basically inlet. So what you do is you wanna go and grab you some, um, I had used some car radiator hose. You feel me? It fit on there perfectly with no problem. I rode 34 miles like this with no problem. So the only thing you gotta do is cut this little flange off. You have a base of flat slide adapter. You just get you some type of holes, two clamps, and you good, you feel me? Like I said, I rolled 32 miles on this, no problem. So we finna um, show you a little top speed run. So, all right, so I did the top speed run. Um, the app on my phone was saying 35, but I gained one miles power. I just wanna let y'all know that now. On a GoPro app, it, had, it got a little better, more, I guess, up-to-date miles power app. So I got 30. No, 60, 66 miles per hour is on it, so I'm still going to show you how that clip. Let's get to it. So we still got 65, but take off a little bit better than what it is. But we're going to test it again. haven't really changed that much we still at 65 or this thing is not reading accurate but i'm gonna reset it
drive so max i guess speed i probably gotta upgrade more stuff in the motor port the head to get anything faster but the pwk when i tell you thought it was buttery smooth this is a must upgrade so yeah man thank you for uh, tuning in but another thing i can do is probably add more feel to it but yeah i'm just gonna leave it how it is but yeah man if you're new to the channel make sure you like comment subscribe thank y'all for tuning in